Good morning. Today I am going to be sharing a first impressions on the new Dermatology Luminous Eye Corrector. This launched several weeks ago and when I found out about this, I asked you guys if you wanted to see a first impressions and a lot of you said yes. And that made me really happy because honestly, I don't share a lot of first impressions here on my channel as I do like to test products for a good length of time before I share my final thoughts with you. But I thought for something like this, I really don't need several weeks of testing because this is basically an under I tinted SPF. So I'm going to know pretty much right away if I'm going to like it based on the texture, what it looks like underneath the eyes, how did it apply, and then of course does my concealer look good on top of this as well. So we're going to find out. So I have two shades here. I have it in the shade fair as well as medium. So I'm going to put fair on one side, medium on the other. We're going to see what that looks like based on my skin tone. And then I'm going to put my concealer on top of this so that we get to see what that looks like as well because that's generally how I'm going to use this product. Of course, you don't have to put concealer on top of this, but just know that this isn't a concealer. It's basically a tinted SPF, but if you don't have a lot of discoloration underneath the eyes and you just, you know, you're someone that doesn't like using concealer, then perhaps this might be the product that will solve all of your issues without having to resort to concealer. So let's get right into it. Of course, this will be linked below for you in my description box, along with my 20% off dermatology discount code, which is an ongoing code, by the way. So you can apply Sincerely Miss Ash at checkout for 20% off, which of course I will leave below for you as well. Please don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell as I'd love to have you all here long term. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well as it really helps with the channel. So when I saw that Dermatology was launching these, I thought immediately that this was going to be a dupe to the Color Science Total Eye 3-in-1, which I have talked about many times in the past. You guys know that I love the Color Science line. Now this is also an under eye corrector with a built-in SPF. This has an SPF 35, whereas this is an SPF 41. This is 100% mineral, same with this one. This comes in four shades, so does the Color Science. This has a zinc oxide of 12% and a titanium dioxide of 10%, whereas this has a zinc oxide of 6.7% and a titanium dioxide of 7.9%. They are both seven mils of product and they both have the same type of applicator as well. So in the color science, I have it in the medium shade. So let's swatch that on the back of my hand and then I'm going to swatch the one from Dermatology right beside it so that we can see what the two medium shades look like. Perhaps there's a difference, maybe there isn't, we're gonna find out. And then of course I will swatch the fair shade next to them so that we can see the difference before I apply this to my under eyes. So this is basically a three-in-one product that is going to color correct any darkness that you have underneath your eyes. So if you have dark circles, some discoloration where you have purple pinky tones like myself, this is going to give you more of that even skin tone, giving that brighter appearance underneath the eyes. This is also going to treat for signs of aging. So there's peptides in here, snow mushroom and ceramides. So this is going to help firm the skin as well. And then of course, this is your under eye SPF for that sun protection. So I love that idea. So let me swatch these on the back of my hand before I zoom you in. So those are the three swatches. So the top shade is the Color Science Medium, the middle shade is the Dermatology Medium, and then of course we have the Dermatology Fair down here. Now they seem like they have the same type of texture and consistency based on how they applied on the back of my hand. But as you can see, the Color Science Medium is a little bit more peachy and the Dermatology Medium looks a little deeper. So if you are a medium shade, Hopefully by seeing this comparison here, you will know which brand to go with based on the shade. So it just depends if you want more of that peachy undertone or if you're looking for something that is a little bit deeper. But I am loving the look of this fair color. I feel like it's going to be perfect for my skin tone. But let's see what it looks like and also let's test out the Dermatology Medium. So I have zoomed you right in. Yes, I have a full face of makeup on, but I don't have anything underneath my eyes. So as you can see, I do have a little bit of discoloration in the inner corner of my eye where I pull some pinky purpley tones. I am very fortunate that I don't have dark circles and I naturally have pretty bright under eyes. I always have. So when I'm using products like this, I don't generally put a lot because 
I just don't like having too much product underneath my eyes, especially concealer or an under eye corrector because sometimes it can just look a little too much. So I'm only going to apply a little amount today, but I do want to let you know that when I'm applying my face sunscreen, I do put my face sunscreen up and around my eye area, on my eyelids, underneath my brow bone. So I'm getting that sun protection already. But then of course this under eye corrector is just adding more SPF protection, which in my opinion is really important because the skin is just so thin and delicate. So let's put fair on this side and medium on the left side. Okay, so I'm just going to apply three little dots like that. So let's apply that first and then I will go in with the medium after. So of course, I'm deciding to use my finger. If you wanted to use a brush, you could totally do that. But I feel like your finger is probably the best because it's just going to melt the product into the skin and it's just going to spread a lot nicer in my opinion. But then again, I've never used a brush with this product before, so maybe a brush would be better. But I'm basing my experience on the color science one that I just shared with you, I have tried using that underneath my eyes with a brush, with a sponge and with my fingers. And I just always prefer the finger method because again, it just melts everything in. And I do the same thing when I'm applying concealer. I generally use my finger as well. So that already gave that instant brightness to the under eye. Loving that so far. It looks very natural and honestly, I really don't even need to put concealer on, but I'm going to in just a minute so that we can see what it looks like, but I am loving that look. So let me come closer so that you can see the difference here. If I wanted more coverage, I could just go in and apply more and then that's it, but let's just see what a little bit does. Okay, so now let's go in with medium. So it definitely has more of that peachiness to it. And you know, I don't mind this either, but I just don't know if it's going to look natural once it's applied. So let's see. I do like the texture. It feels really nice. I would say it's pretty lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy at all. It does feel very moisturizing. So if you have dry under eyes, I think this is going to be really nice. You know, generally in the winter, I can be quite dry and flaky in this inner corner here. So I think this is going to be really nice even for all year round. And I, you know what? I am, I'm actually shocked. <laughs> that looks really nice. Maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe I spoke too soon. That literally just looks like I just put an under eye concealer on like something that matches my skin tone. I really, really love that. I don't know if you can tell the difference yet. Let me work this in a little bit more because I still have some on my finger. But I thought this was going to be too dark. I honestly thought this was going to be really dark, really peachy, something that just wouldn't look natural underneath my eyes based on my skin tone. But I am absolutely shook. Like that looks really nice. Honestly, I don't know what side I like better. Which side do you like better? I feel like if I wanna skip a concealer, I'm going right in with the medium shade because this is basically like my concealer. This is how my concealer would look underneath my eyes. But if I wanted more of that brighter under eye, I'm going in with the fair and then I'm putting my concealer on top. I don't think I need concealer on top of this because this gave really nice coverage. Of course, I'm going to put concealer on both sides just so that we can see what it looks like. But what do you think? I can't believe how nicely that blended in because with the color science medium, I have to put a concealer on top of that one because it stays peachy underneath my eyes and it doesn't look natural. This one from Dermatology just melted right in and it actually looks really nice. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Tower 28 Serum Concealer. I do have it in the shade 2.0 BU. This has been my go-to concealer as of late, and I really like it because it's really lightweight and it just looks natural. So it's one of my favorites. So let's go in with this one. Of course, I'm only going to put a little amount just because I already have that base now. So I'm just going to do that and then that there and that well you know what I'm going to do a little bit on the exterior as well because that's generally what I do so let's start with that all right so let me blend this in okay so the concealer is going on nicely on top of the color corrector and to be honest with you, I don't even have any creasing with that under eye corrector. I'm going to zoom you in on this side before I start applying that everywhere. I have no creasing underneath my eyes and generally with concealer, I do get a little bit of creasing, which is why I set it with a bit of translucent powder. So let's see how the pairing works. Maybe I won't have to set it now that I have concealer on top of this. We don't know, let's find out. So dermatology actually states that this under eye corrector will not crease and settle into fine lines and wrinkles and it won't make your under eyes look cakey. And I believe that, they are very correct about that. So let me come closer before I apply this concealer everywhere and hopefully it focuses. So there's a little bit of creasing right there underneath the eye, but my main concern would be when it starts creasing out here and it hasn't even done that yet and it's been probably over five minutes since it's been on. So that's really impressive. Okay, so let's apply this everywhere now. I can't believe how nicely the concealer is going on top of the under eye corrector. It almost acted as a primer and it's really giving a beautiful finish underneath the eyes. Like I am really impressed with that. Wow. Okay, what do you think? I do still feel like this side still is a little bit brighter, but I really like the look of this side as well. Honestly, they both look really good. But if I wanted to skip a concealer, I'm just gonna use the medium shade and that's it. And then of course, if I wanna wear concealer, then I'll use the fair shade and then put the concealer on top. But I really love the way that the concealer applied on top of the under eye corrector. Again, it basically acts as a primer. We're getting that added SPF protection and it's very, very moisturizing. Like my under eyes feel so good right now. So good, so if you have dry under eyes, I feel like you're gonna really enjoy this formulation, but what side is your favorite? I wanna know. So I've zoomed you out just so that you can see what my under eyes look like from afar, and it looks really good, doesn't it? It looks nice and bright. It looks like it's more even now in terms of the tone. Yes, I need to fix my makeup and bring up my blush a little bit, but let's ignore that. The under eyes still look really nice, and honestly, I was going to set this with some translucent powder, the one from NARS, but I don't feel like I have to because it honestly is increasing, even with my concealer on top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hop off camera for about a half an hour, and then I'm going to come back on here and show you what my under eyes look like. Because usually within a half an hour of just using concealer, it starts to crease underneath my eyes, and that's why I like to use setting powder. But I wanna see what happens in the next half an hour. So I will be right back. Okay we do have some creasing. Yes, we do. So as you can see, I have some creasing underneath here. It's starting to crease a little bit on the exterior of the eye and it's starting to crease a little bit in the inner corner. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I can see a little bit here too. But 
you know, I like it the way it looks right now, but I also really liked the way that the under eye corrector looked on its own as well without concealer. So overall, I am very impressed with this formulation. I really love how my under eyes look. I love the fact that I could either use fair or medium. And I also really like how lightweight they feel and how moisturizing they are as well. And the fact that you don't have to set this with translucent powder is also an added bonus. Now in the future, I will be setting my under eyes, especially if I'm using concealer on top of this. But if I'm just wearing this on its own, there is no need to use a setting powder because as you saw, it didn't even crease underneath the eyes. Now, I also love that this is an SPF 41. It also has the higher zinc and titanium dioxide. So I much prefer to use this over the color science because of that reason. But like I mentioned, the color science medium shade, I can't use that on its own. I have to put a concealer on top of that because it's just too peachy. So the fact that I could either use fair or medium here is just an added bonus. And I also feel like this formulation is a little bit more moisturizing as well. So if you do have that dryness underneath your eyes, I feel like you should try this brand first before going to color science. Let me know which side you like better, which shade do you think looks better on my skin tone. Have you tried this before? Let's get a conversation going in that comment section. Of course, I will link everything below for you for your reference. If you want to learn more about dermatology and you want to see more content, I have a lot of videos here on my channel, which of course I will link below for you as well. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this, like more first impression type of videos by giving this video a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And of course, I will see you all in the next video. Take care and I will see you all then. Bye guys.